all right awful foggy out i'm up in the puget sound on indian island at the very end on ismuth beach and i'm gonna do a couple videos here one of which is waiting for red rock crab so a little different we don't have too many dungeness in these areas where you can wait up here there's already a couple people down here waiting for crab and we'll see what i can find i'm also with my daughter-in-law and my son again so we'll see how we do i'm after a red rock right now we'll see if i can go after him actually there's a couple under here so i'm gonna reach down grab him pull him towards me i put him in the bucket i'm gonna reach and grab the other one and then i'll decide what to keep here so the other thing is, is there was a female that was small. All right, so these I know are over five inches. And what I'll do here is measure them and then we'll decide whether we're gonna keep them. These are kind of small. That's five and a half. This guy here, five and a half. This beach has a lot of these on there too. They're called moon snails. I don't know if you can keep these anymore. You used to be able to keep them, but they will uh, totally get bloated out. That's what they do when they're on the seafloor. And he's got a trap door he's slowly shutting as he's squeezing water out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him back in the water. There he goes. I'm gonna walk over here a little ways. If I can, it's really deep here and this is what's left and i'm going to pull it out of the sand this is what's left of a moon snail egg casing give me a second here this is what's left of a moon snail egg casing it's kind of cool because it looks man-made it's rounded these will have more of a circle to them sometimes but that's just slime and sand and that's how they make their egg casings my son's getting one out from underneath a rock right now. He's fighting them. <laughs> Look behind you because he's going to be running past the silt on the other side. Mm -hmm. He's still right here somewhere. Yeah. Behind you, maybe? No, nope, it's not stirred up. No, we had he moved. He's behind you. Yeah, he moved. So I'm going to walk around Emma here. Yeah. Yeah, you don't even have to measure him. As I was walking and talking, I uh, got called back. My son, he found one crab that we're going to check, and he's got another crab here in the water. I'll film it and see what we have. One of those first two crab, if I didn't mention it already, was a soft shell, so we released it. Okay, I'm going to film this one underwater. It's just there. The silt is about upon it and then he's got this one which looks bigger nice so we're gonna measure it it is over six inches just about no it's just about to six inches so that's a nice size crab and the other one here which was small i can't see where oh here it is i'll just pick up He's small, he's dirty too, see all the spots? So, good deal. There's another little guy here running along. I'm gonna see if I can get this crab to come up. He's a uh, squirmy. Nope, I lost him. Well, it was a young Dungeness crab, I believe. Two inches long, so it wasn't much to show you. They have to be six and a quarter out here in the Puget Sound where it's open for crabbing. I do have my endorsement license for up here and while I'm talking I have a big crab here a nice big crab for my son to come get or daughter-in-law if she wants to try it's it's right here I'm just gonna come to it closely it's got a nice big claw and uh, just be aggressive with it to get it out of the water 
It's right below my rake. You see it? Yes, I see them. Okay. Just scoop it towards you. Scoop faster so you can see it. I'm trying. It's right here now. It's right here. It's ready to fight. You got to grab the ground and scoop up. There you go. Now, I'll grab because it's got it's got one small claw. They can still pinch you pretty good too. But uh, how to hold these crab are by the back two legs. Here, I'll do this because I wasn't pointing at it. I don't even know if you got that on film. There's one over there full of barnacles. But you grab them by the two back legs. And uh, this crab is definitely over five inches again. It's over five and three quarter inches. Keeper for you? Sure. Okay. So here's another crab in the water that was pointed out to me. My daughter-in-law is gonna try and scoop it up again. You gotta go all the way in the sand, scoop fast. Back, back two legs. Okay, it's missing half of its legs. It is a nice hard shell. It is a keeper. We're not really looking for these guys. It again, it's the same size as the last one I just videoed. So uh, it's over five and three quarter. So, question: Do you want this one? No. Okay. It's it's gonna live. At least by our standard, we want to keep some that are a little a uh, little more full of claws. I know I've got my shadow in here. Hi YouTube. I'm going to turn a little bit because in front of me is just a small red rock. Seeing if you can get him in the footage. Yep, he's in there somewhere. So, just still wading along looking for a bigger crab. Okay, I'm going to get this crab. This is what I tried to show you earlier. This is what we call spider crab here. I don't know their true name. Oh, he's a fighter. I don't want him pinching me. Nope, that's his pinchers. <laughs> he's spiny. He's got a bunch of spines. He's really, he's a soft shell. But I'll let him go. He's, he's a, we call him spider crab. Yep, he's going to go somewhere and spin a spidey web. Okay, after we wade through all the, out here, wade through all the water, we then kind of look under these rocks like my son's doing because these red rock will tuck themselves under. And as I'm walking around these rocks to look under, I didn't have to look under. This guy's sitting on top, undisturbed. I'll grab a measure and show you how big he is. He's the big one. He's over six and three quarter inches. Yeah, that's touching the other side without going over the other side. So we'll get her in a second here. I'm gonna have my daughter-in-law come and look. We'll pull him out of the water or she can it's starting to stir up a little bit but yeah I want you to pick it up and put it in the bucket if you could give you some handling experience so the back you just grab the back two legs so your back legs are here and, and you can you can push down right here I'll push down right here and you just find the back two legs and start lifting I'm pushing down so Back two legs. Back. back two legs. These are the back two. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yep. Okay. There he is. Let's clean some of the moss off. He's a nice hard shell, and I could pinch on a leg to find out for sure. Yes. I can feel it too. Okay. Oh, hello. You go ahead and put him in the bucket. All right. There you go. Okay, I'm poking in under here. There's a crab in there hiding under the rock. This is high and dry, away from the water when the tide goes out. That's why we look under these rocks, because the crab will tuck themselves in under places, these red rock. Probably why they're called rock crab. So I will be pulling it out right now, extracting it. If it's too small, I'll put them back in and let them go back under the rock. All right. He looks a little small. He's got both of his pinchers. But I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him go right back in under the rock. Leave him alone. Let him have his freedom. We ended up with a total of five crab. It wasn't very productive, but we did end up with some. And all I did was wait for crab with my son, his wife, and uh, found five on this nice, beautiful day. 
anyway i'm up here making other videos and uh so we're going to try doing that as at the same time as this tide's still going out we still have about an hour anyway i'd like to thank you for watching this video if you haven't already please subscribe i'm going for 500 subscribers the reason for that is i make videos by the time i get them out they've met my goal and thank you for helping make that happen so 500 subscribers by the end of the year if you guys can make that happen then i'll change my videos but 500 for now and again thank you for watching